If I could stroke a check for a million bucks and never feel that feeling again, I absolutely would. I really would. It's something that I really hated myself for, and I felt very apart. I grew up in the South Louisiana. I was a Bible Belt, and I felt very distant from people around me because I had this urge in me and could not understand why I was so different. Like The biggest self-hate I've ever felt in my life is over this particular subject. I thought I was broken. Hey guys, Rob Kowalski here, back with another video. And this one, we're going to do a reaction to a Justin Waller video that I've seen recently on YouTube. And uh, I just want to continue making these reaction videos as I'm filtering the information that I'm processing through a lens of biblical polygyny. So for those of you that don't know, I'm a committed Christian. My life is surrendered to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. And I've recently discovered that polygyny, which is a man having multiple wives, was not only approved of by God, but the false monogamy only doctrine, which is what the church tells men that they have to do, has been terribly devastating to society and to the world. It's produced low marriage rates, record high divorce rates, and fatherless homes, rampant fornication. It's a mess. And it was never in the Bible. So as I've learned this truth, it's like one of those things that you can't unsee after you see it. You start recognizing it everywhere and all the problems that we're facing in relationships and a lot of the challenges that we face in society as a whole. So we're going to go through this video and we're going to take a look at it together and we're going to talk about it. But before we begin, make sure you're following me on Instagram. My username is Rob B. Kowalski. I post daily motivation and updates on pretty much everything that's going on in my life. All right, let's get started. Men are designed to want to sleep with multiple women. Yeah, I would say I definitely agree that men want to sleep with multiple women. I think it's natural because one of the things are is because we, we have so much sperm <laughs> that we, we produce so much sperm and that makes us want to repopulate the earth, basically. And a lot of times what happens is I think that society is telling men not to do that for whatever reason. And some guys fall into that. But I definitely believe that men actually want to be with multiple women because it's just a natural thing in us. This is why you hear all the time men always cheating and guys feel like they're trying to hide the cheating and everything like that. And if it was natural for them to just want to be with that one woman, then cheating wouldn't even be an issue. You know what I'm saying? So that's how I look at it. Okay. Did you hear what he said? Basically that it's natural for a man to want to sleep with a variety of women because they produce so much more sperm. And if you think about that, think about the way the system is set up. A woman can make one baby a year. A man could make hundreds of babies a year if he went on a spree. God set that system up. If monogamy only was what he wanted, that was the ideal. That system would not make sense because God is the one that put that in us. He's the one that gave man the ability to produce all those sperm all the time. And he gave a woman the ability to produce one baby a year. Christian men, I just started a brand new Facebook group called The Unplugged Christian Alphas. You hear me talk about the fact that 80% of the women are sleeping with 20% of the men right now, pushing the majority of men out of the sexual marketplace. And I am passionate about helping men level up and move into that top 20% and become men of option. So if you're a Christian man and you want to pursue excellence, join The Unplugged Christian Alphas on Facebook. It's 100% free and I'll see you on the inside. So it does beg the question, like, why would God do that? In addition to the fact, there are other things like... A woman's biological clock stops when she hits menopause. She can no longer make babies after the age of 35 or 40 years old. But a man continues to produce sperm pretty much until the day he dies. He has the possibility to make a baby. I think Robert De Niro and Al Pacino both had babies recently, and they're both around 79, 85 years old, somewhere in that range. Did they have help? I don't know. Maybe they had in vitro or whatever, but you've never heard of an 80-year-old woman having a baby. I don't care how much help she got. Again, God set that system up. If monogamy only which is what everyone's going to tell you, all the Christians, the mainstream churches, they're all going to tell you that lifelong monogamy is what God prescribed. But the Bible never says that. And biology doesn't even support that. Let's keep going. Yeah, I think for the way we were cultured, I agree with that, but also to just through human history, right? For survival, you, maybe this is old school thinking, but it's just like for survival, you need to have lots of kids. So someone's pregnant. How do you keep multiplying? You just more women, right? right. I'm not saying it's right or wrong, but it's just the way. I think women even cheat too. It's 50 50. Yeah, I think women also some want to do their things and in some situations, you know what I'm saying? So I don't think it's just, I, mean, I think it's a natural. I feel like because that desire is there, it's a natural thing for, if we're talking specifically men, that desire to want to do it is natural in us. So then, therefore, you're going to want to do it. So I don't think it's a, a natural thing to just be with this one woman, but at the same time, when I'm with this one woman, I only want to stay with her. It's almost like I'm lying to myself if I just want to be with her. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm going to pause it there. So what he said is the sheer fact that you have the urge tells you that it's not natural to be with just one woman. Now, I'm not saying that you can go ahead and every desire that you have, every urge they have, you should act on it. No, I'm not saying that. It, it'd be the same as having hunger pains. If you want to eat something, you can't just go out and eat whatever you want and expect to be healthy. You have to do it in such a way. And the Bible outlines that way. 
If you go back and you read Exodus 21.10, it says, if a man takes a second wife, he must continue to provide the first, her food, clothing, and conjugal rights. So you have to continue to treat the first wife the same. Let me ask you a question. How many times has a man got married to his college sweetheart or in his early 20s, let's say, and he hits a Christian men. I just started a brand new Facebook group called the Unplugged Christian Alphas. You hear me talk about the fact that 80% of the women are sleeping with 20% of the men right now, pushing the majority men out of the sexual marketplace. And I am passionate about helping men level up and move into that top 20% and become men of option. So if you're a Christian man and you want to pursue excellence, join the Unplugged Christian Alphas on Facebook. It's 100% free and I'll see you on the inside. Midlife crisis in his 40s and he runs off with a younger woman and now he leaves his first wife and she's 45 years old with three kids and it makes it way harder for her to find a man now because there's not that many men that are looking to marry 45 year old women with a bunch of kids and that's exactly what god tells you you cannot do okay so again i'm not saying you should act on every urge that you have every desire isn't necessarily healthy but there is a way that the bible outlines for how to act on this desire i mean that makes perfect sense but the question is at the end point is being with multiple women the end point I'm of the firm belief that it is important to position yourself as a man to have the capacity to be with as many women as you possibly can and position yourself in a way where you understand female nature and you maximize your potential as a man. And that's where I don't necessarily agree that just because there's a deeper desire to continue to do it means it's going to be the most optimal thing for you and your own ability to thrive at the highest level and connect with God here on earth. I was taught not to be with multiple women, right? But it's especially, here's the thing, especially when you're in a relationship, right? It's, it's better to grow together with somebody than multiple people, which I totally agree. But I think in the dating terms, it's like, there's nothing wrong with being multiple women because I think that's just dating. It's experimenting, it's finding other people, but are we naturally made to just always be with one person? It's, if that were true, then these first thoughts of being with another woman, even though I'm in a committed relationship would never occur, but it comes up once in a while, but it doesn't mean I'm acting upon it. He said that there's nothing wrong with being with a variety of women. That's just dating. I all agree with him if you are not getting physical with them, because what happens is when a man has sex with a woman, he makes an imprint on her. He makes an impression on that woman and that impression lasts and it lasts with that woman into her future relationships. There's actually DNA passed on to that woman. And that's the way it was supposed to be. A man was supposed to do that with his wife. So yeah, there's nothing wrong with dating women if you're not getting physical with them. However, you can marry more than one and make that impression and that imprint on more than one woman if you so choose. You just have to marry them. Probably throws up quite a bit. Of it. Uh, it depends what kind of relationship you're in or how good of a day it is. But I would say for me, if it was totally natural, even though I was natured, nurtured, and don't only be with one woman, that these thoughts wouldn't occur then. And th the thing with me, I'm, I'm not monogamous. So I have a wife, I have a girlfriend, and I still, from time to time, hook up with other girls. And so, and the thing is, it's it feels regular to me. It doesn't feel like I'm trying to do it or doing it because I'm forcing myself. It just feels just natural, like it's something I want to do. You know what I mean? And so to not do it feels unnatural. You might just want this one woman for a relationship. I, I can understand that. But sexually, though, I, I think it's all BS. Yeah, I agree. I think a man can absolutely be head over heels in love with a woman and still sleep with other women and it not mean anything to him. And I think all men have the proclivity to want to sleep with other women. Now, whether they're able to speak to that and actually act on that or not, or if they've been able to, like, like you said, like religiously, find a way to work around it. And I think religion has been great for that because if it weren't for religion, we probably would not have society. But I think what's most important to identify is that a man should create choice in his life. And if you have choice, you should be able to do as you wish, particularly like in your case, like in my case, if there's no deceit. Yeah. It's the lying. That, in my opinion, is actually the overall problem. When guys tend to go outside of a relationship, they lie to the woman. Beautiful. Okay, first off, I want to go back to what the guy said before that. He said, it doesn't feel natural to me to be monogamous. And I think that is true. I think some men are born naturally to gravitate toward monogamy, one man, one woman. And that's probably going to be the majority of men. But there are some men that naturally feel more polygynous. And that's okay too, as long as it's done right. Now, one thing that Justin Waller just said here was that a man can be totally in love with a woman and still want to sleep with other women. And I think that that's 100% true. I think what happens is with monogamy, the problem that we get into is men and women do not show love the same way to each other. Men show love by protection and provision. Women show love by sexual exclusivity. So when you ask a man to show love the same way, which is not the way that men love, that's where the problems begin. Because again, a man can go out and have sex with a woman and it not mean anything to him. Now, again, I'm not saying he should, but I know personally when I had girlfriends and I went out and had sex, it was almost like brushing my teeth or getting my oil changed. It was just being serviced. I had no emotional feeling for that woman at all. It was just an act. It had nothing to do with the way I felt about my girlfriend. Now, 
going back to the other thing that he said, it was wrong because I was deceitful. I lied about it. And that creates kind of a cesspool. It's a really scummy way to go about it. Again, God said that this is okay for a man to have for a man whose natural desire is to have variety, there is a way that he can express that, but he has to marry the women if he is going to sleep with them. The problem occurs when you tell all men that they should be monogamous, even if that's not how they're naturally wired. Even if they don't feel like that's a natural state for them, you tell them that's how they have to be and you try to shame them into being that way. All that does is creates degeneracy. They just go out and act on those urges in a deceitful way. So when I was growing up, I was under the belief of just being with one woman, right? Like I was a virgin for a very long time. And one girl broke my heart. So that caused like a lot of insecurity, resentment towards the other side, right? And then I just became like a man whore. The problem is you have guys who are monogamous, but they're monogamous because they're forced to be monogamous in a way meaning that they have no choice because they don't have the skill to attract multiple women. And a lot of times they'll use that as virtue signaling. I would never do such a thing. Actually, bro, you can't. That's such a good point that he made there because a lot of men will either say they wouldn't do it because they don't have the opportunity to do it, or they'll just lie because they want to look good to the women. I remember a man whore for a little bit. The problem is you have guys who are monogamous, but they're monogamous because they're forced to be monogamous in a way meaning that they have no choice because they don't have the skill to attract multiple women. And a lot of times they'll use that as virtue signaling. I would never do such a thing. Actually, bro, you can't. All right. That's a good point of what he said there, because there are a lot of men out there, even guys that are in my comments that disagree with me. And it's they're disagreeing because they're either not being honest with themselves they're, and they're trying to win points with the females by agreeing with them, or it's because they know that they can't get more than one woman. I remember when I would go on tour and things like that, my friends would always try to encourage me to hook up with girls that were on to me, but I wasn't really like into it. And it made me feel like weird, off. There was something wrong with me. And now I'm at a point in my life where I feel like I'm only having sex with multiple women. So I'm not, so I'm quote unquote normal. I feel like even when I do have sex with these random women, it doesn't give me any gratification. And I know that comes with random sex in the, in the end, but I know in the back of my mind that I just simply don't enjoy this. I've been with multiple women and I've been with one woman and being with one woman is just so peaceful. As far as telling young men that they're born this way and that they should feel this way, it can really not do damage, but just make you second guess things about yourself. Am I normal? Am I weird? Is there something off about me? Everyone else around me is saying that I have to feel this way or I have to do these things. But yet, I don't feel the courage to do those things. I would say that's not true, though. I don't think that we should promote men sleep with multiple women. I think that we should promote choice and what feels right to you. So in your particular case, I would never tell you to sleep with multiple women. I think you might be doing the right thing to do exactly what you're doing and not do it or stop doing it. It's not about pushing it on the young men. But I'll tell you, there's a lot of young men that have a demon inside and maybe are really upset and frustrated with themselves because they feel a certain way. And it's, oh, I'm coming out the closet. I'm straight. Or, or super straight or too straight or whatever it is. I think that it's really going to be about choice, man. If me to you, I tell you, if that you don't feel good doing that, man, I wouldn't do it at all. No one should ever be peer pressured into being any kind of way. If this is what feels more natural to you is to be in a monogamous relationship, that's absolutely what you should do. And the majority 